Hey team, welcome back to my channel. This question is from HackerRank.com Occupations. If you'd like to follow along with me, the source code is on my GitHub account. Here's my account name, here's a repository, and this is the name of the file to look for. You ready to do this? Let's go. The goal of this video is to take this data from a sample table called Occupations. Notice the field of interest is Occupation. Notice we have actor, doctor, professor, and singer. I want these to be my column names. So we're calling that transforming. Let's see what the output will look like. You can now see that my column headings are those doctor, professor, singer, actors, and the names associated with each of them occupations is beneath. Ready to do this? Let's continue. Before we look at example one, I'm gonna execute a little bit of code and let's see what happens. Well. What happens is I add one additional column to our 10 rows called num. Notice I'm using row number. Now I'm going to partition the occupations. Notice one, then I get one, two, three. Doctor, the number starts over, one, two. You see it, one, two, three. But I'm sorting the output by occupation and then by name. And notice I'm going to alias this entire you know, bit of code as num. You can see num as my column header here. So this will become the input to this pivot problem. Now let's talk about pivot in general. The pivot block of code must contain an aggregate function for it to work correctly. Come in here and say name. Now this might be confusing on why I have max and let me show you the next thing that you need to understand. I'm adding a little bit of code to our aggregate function max and I'm saying case when occupation is actor then let's use that name called name, but I'm using the max, let's execute that. So notice it says Maria. Now if I come over here and say min, that same function, I'm gonna get the min value, and J does come before M, you got that. Now you understand this statement right here will work all by itself, but it leads to a lot of confusion how we like go from rows to transforming it to be something else. Let me show you one more little thing that might make all this work. Ready? I'm gonna say num. Execute this. And if you look real closely, there are a bunch of only one number per row. There are 10 rows. We have 10 rows because there are 10 names and occupations. So here are my occupations and notice one here, two and three, that means there were three names on the, in the source data. But the order of these, notice one number per row. So what it did is it took that original data and then put it into this new data structure, one name at a time per row. And then when we come up and change this to name, notice that it then collapsed all the null characters and we just get the names. I hope that makes sense for the pivot command. Now let's go look at our second select statement. Now here you do not see a pivot. However, this will execute the exact same. I'm still getting the row number. Remember when I execute this, it comes out, and gives me that data like you had just seen. But then I'm gonna be running it through these min clauses. And you'll look at this output identical. I told you I had two examples. I showed you them both. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until my next video, take care. 